Namaskara, you're watching TV Vikrama National. I am Jessil D'Souza. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please hit the subscribe button and click on bell icon. Welcome to Bharatiya Parampare, a show about India's vibrant history. Age-old religious practices are often criticized by people. Especially the practices followed to maintain discipline and cleanliness have gained negative popularity. They are seen as discrimination. The philosophical and scientific aspects of them are often left out. What do these practices actually mean? What is the core of all of it? Let me tell you in today's episode. The discussion and criticism of it go a long way back. And often these practices are tied to one particular community. We still hear a lot of things about this. But our scriptures have spoken about cleanliness and hygiene a lot. It is paramount to practice a ritual such as puja, havan and many other religious practices. Like we wash our hands before having food, one should maintain cleanliness before performing a ritual. Wearing washed clothes using clean utensils is given primary importance in Sanatana Dharma. Maintaining cleanliness brings a certain kind of focus and purity to the activity being performed. Personal hygiene as well as purity of heart is important. How taking bath is important for personal hygiene, meditation is also important for internal purity. Like how doctors sanitize themselves and maintain cleanliness before going to an operation theater, one should maintain similar hygiene while performing religious practices. This is the importance our ancestors have given to cleanliness and hygiene. It is not the discrimination like many other people think. Every practice in Sanatana Dharma has a meaningful reason behind it. This was today's special. I will come up with more interesting topic in the next episode. Namaskara. TV Vikrama National, Bharat Bhagya Vidata. Subscribe TV Vikrama National and don't forget to click bell icon button and select all notifications.